In this example, we have a transfer function that has two parameters. One is k, one is a. And we obtain the following Bode plot for the function g of s. The question is, given this Bode plot, what is k, what is a? This is a good example of parameter identification that is done experimentally in many research labs and in many characterization processes for whatever system we are studying. If you have a prior idea of the structure of the transfer function, but you don't know exactly these parameters k and a, where a could be, for instance, a mass or friction in the system, and k is a gain, an amplifier gain, we can obtain the Bode plot experimentally for that specific transfer function for the physical system, and then compare the a priori transfer function we have and the Bode plot to figure out this variable. So this, this has a lot of practical applications. We see that we have two parameters. One is k, one is a. k is a gain, so k does not affect the phase. a is a parameter in the system that will affect both the phase and the gain. So to find these parameters, we can now start looking at a. We know that a k doesn't affect the phase, so if you write an expression for the phase, the phase will only be a function of a. k is not part of it. The phase of a constant is zero. What is the phase of this transfer function? The phase of this transfer function is simply the phase of all zeros minus the phase of all poles. This can be written as k of j omega divided by j omega plus a, j omega plus 10 squared. So you have a zero at the origin, a real pole, and two real poles with a cutoff frequency of negative 10 radians per second. Now this phase is the phase of all zeros minus the phase of all poles. The zero at the origin adds an angle of positive 90 degrees. This is easy to see if we plot this in a 2D plot with the real part and the imaginary part. The real part of this zero is zero and the imaginary part is omega. And here is then the vector, the angle here is 90 degrees. If we had a pole at the origin, then the pole would add negative 90 degrees. Now we have this real pole. The pole adds a phase of negative arc tangent of the imaginary part divided by the real part A. Again, we can plot that. And if you see for this pole, the real part is A and the imaginary part is omega. The vector is here. Here is the angle, arc tangent of this divided by that, imaginary divided by real. Now let's move to this real poles here. We have two poles at s equals to negative 10. Each of them will add negative arc tangent of real part, uh, imaginary part divided by the real part, omega divided by 10. And this is for one of them, we have, we have two because of the square, omega over 10. This is now the expression for the phase. What do we do next? If you look at the Bode plot, we can now pick any point along the phase diagram. And that point must satisfy this expression. We see that the only unknown here, once you do that, is the variable a. For simplicity, we can take the value of the frequency that makes the phase zero. And that value, if you look close at the Bode plot, will be three radians per second. When omega is three radians per second, the phase is zero. Now replace these two in the expression. So you have zero equals to negative 90 minus arctangent of omega three over a minus two arctangent of three over 10. Now solve for a, a should be approximately two. Now that we have find the parameter a, we can look for k. K can only be obtained if you look at the magnitude of the function, because K doesn't influence the phase. The phase of K is simply zero if K is a constant. What is the magnitude of this transfer function? We can take 20 log of Ks over S plus A, S plus 10 squared. This is the magnitude of G, J, omega. S equals to j omega. We now have the magnitude 
as 20 log of k plus 20 log of s, which is simply omega, or simply 20 log of square root of real part square, which is 0, plus imaginary part squared, that is when s is j omega. It's simply omega, so omega squared. The square root cancels with this square, 20 log of omega. Minus the magnitude of all poles, minus 20 log of replacing s with j omega. The magnitude here is a square root of a real part squared, a squared, plus imaginary part omega squared, minus 20 log of the other pole, which is square root of real part squared 10 squared plus imaginary part squared omega all this squared because of that value or negative 40 log of this now that we have an expression for the phase we can pick a point from our body plot any point on the phase plot must satisfy this equation for simplicity we can take the value of omega that makes the phase that makes the magnitude zero that value happens to be 5 radians per second. At omega equals to 5, gj omega equals to 0. Now simply replace these values in the expression we just found. We are left with 0 equals to 20 log of k plus 20 log of 5 minus 20 log of a squared, a is two, so four, square root of four plus five squared, and minus 40 log of square root of 10 squared plus five squared. You see that in this expression, the only variable is k. Solving for k gives k equals to 400. And here we have both parameters obtained for a hypothetical experimental body plot.